Hey guys, Wet Movie One back here again for another out and about adventure for you guys today. Right now, I'm in Huntington Park, I believe it is, uh, California, for a very special um, signing that they're having at this one store I've never been to before. And the store I'm going to today, guys, is called the Wrestling Guys Store. But there's already lines and lines of people. There's some wrapped around the corner, fans over here, as you can tell, wearing NWO shirts. All to meet one special person that's going to be in attendance here, you know, taking pictures and signing autographs for fans. It's a wrestler that I always thought was really kind of cool, you know, growing up as a kid and everything. It'd be kind of fun uh, to get a chance to meet him over here. I even brought a, a v old VHS to get signed by him. And the VHS I brought over was my old school Degeneration X uh, thing right here. It's like the best of them, like back in the day. This is like the uncensored uh, Degeneration X, like we see like nudity and like the weird things I used to do uh, you know back in the WWF era man this is this was my jam dude this is like the attitude era was like my shit the 80s and the attitude era was my shit all right everyone I'm now with David the owner of the wrestling guy store out here so dude how do you get all the wrestlers out here to your events to your store you know what I've been lucky that uh, every wrestler has put in a good word for us and we'll reach out to them and they're all willing to do it and come in and have a good time and check out what we give them when they make the ceiling of fame yeah how long have you been doing these events this is my first one I ever came to this is our fifth year. Fifth year? Yeah, so we've done about, I want to say about over 50 already. Really, really cool, yeah. man. Welcome, so, by the way. Thank you, sir. Is there anything you can tell the people that are watching about your store? Uh, we have all the WWE merchandise that we possibly can get. We have t-shirts, action figures, uh, cups, everything that possibly. It's like a little mini WWE shop, so come check us out. Yeah, make sure you guys check them out. I have a link to the address and everything down below in the description box. But the person that's going to be here today, guys, is X-Pac. You know what I mean? And so it's it's going to be really kind of cool. So let's see how this event goes. And I have a couple of other things planned uh, for today, one of which is horror related. And it may take place in a retro video store. So stay tuned. Let's see how this all works out today. And let's go. And guys, here's some of the merch that they have over here for X-Pac to, to sign for you if you guys don't have anything to bring yourselves. There's some, you know, autograph pic, you know, some pictures. And of course, a Degeneration NWO shirt. How cool is that, man? X-Pac in the house. Well, guys, inside the Wrestling Guy store right now, X-Pac's in the house, taking pictures with people, rocking out Christmas style. What? Well, guys, just got out of the Wrestling Guy store. Now at LA Union Station, heading on over to my next destination of the day. Uh, I did get to meet X-Pac and talk to him for a moment or two. Really cool, down-to-earth dude. They had this cool little, like, you know, meet X-Pac Christmas party thing sort of going on with him wearing a Christmas hat. They had a Christmas tree set up along with like, he, he even brought his little dog along with him. Uh, I was going to see if I could talk to him for like a moment or two, like have a little fan moment like I do for the vlogs. He didn't seem like he was really into it, but uh, it's okay. It's okay, not all not all stars are. But I did end up getting him to sign the old school VHS right here, Xbox, suck it. What? But yeah guys, it was cool to meet him and have him sign my uh, old school VHS and everything. But as you can tell, I'm over here at the train station. <laughs> On the trains. At all. Out here. You just never know. No, hey. no, you never know. Hey. <laughs> well, everyone just met up with my other special guest uh, for this vlog right now, Aaron. We're messing around Burbank right now. And uh, where's that, what's that first stop we're going to right here? Uh, this is called the uh, Tin Horn. Okay, the Tin Horn. The old school, like, Western. Yeah, it is like a Western bar. Let's head on in and uh, go ahead and get yourself a drink. Let's do it. Go, go. Oh. Hey man, how you doing? We're here with Jacob right now and we're 
We're getting ready to go to the screening of uh, Nightmare on Elm Street 3, where they're gonna have a couple of the cast members there. We don't know if Aaron's gonna go because he didn't get his ticket. <laughs> so like, I, I thought he was gonna get it for me. Oh, what's gonna happen now? I don't know. I guess we'll find out when we get there. Just getting out of that western bar right there. Aaron and Jacob are getting a little bite to eat. So I'm just gonna be heading on over uh, to, this, to the you know, Mystic Museum over here on Magnolia Boulevard for their special screening and Q&A for Nightmare on Elm Street 3. So I'm bringing on over my old school VHS just like I did for Xbox earlier today. It's bringing VHS stuff to get signed. But uh, I don't know how much they're charging for, for autographs and stuff. If it's anything you know, too crazy for me, I am not gonna do it. I'm at my next destination of the day. We have popcorn everywhere, we have candy, and we even have a Freddy head. What? And we also have Sean. What are you doing here? What's up, man? What, you stalking me over here, bro? Yeah, man. Just following you everywhere you go. Man. Oh, okay. You better watch out. Freddy's behind you. And the place I'm in right now is the Revenge of Slashback Video, also known as the Mystic Museum, over here on Magnolia Boulevard, where they have all the cool, you know, retro, uh, you know, VHS stuff over here. And uh, they have, like I said, some of the cast members of Nightmare on Elm Street 3 in the house right here. Cool little billboards, cut out, cardboard cutouts of things. Freddy yeah. Cougars, some crew members. What's up, Fonzo? What's up, Ren? How you doing, man? Thanks for the shout out on your video. Appreciate it. My birthday oh, shout out. Yeah, yeah. You're, you're part of the Wolfpack now, I see. You. Yeah, yeah with Xbox. Xbox, Xbox, Xbox and this, yeah. You, you switched the Monster Squad to Wolfpack now, I see. Are you That's switching right. on us? Yeah. Oh, man. Hey, you like, same you know symbol. What same symbol. It is true. That's right. It's same. too sweet. Yeah, too sweet. <laughs> but just check out the ambiance as I'm chilling here, waiting for the movie to begin. It's Christmas like, so it's time. For nightmare on Elm Street. But look at this stuff. They have some like really cool, you know, like collectible cards and some really decent, really cool kind of stuff up in there, like you know, reanimated cards, Dawn of the Dead cards, all sorts of cool stuff over here. That slashback video. Yeah. I don't know, man. I, I kind of dig. The, the, I kind of dig what they're doing over here. Yeah, it's cool. You can like watch a little movie here. Whatever, yeah. something fun. Is it a pop up or is it like full time? That's a pop up thing. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think the I think the screen's gonna come up from up there and come down. Oh really? They yeah. had one like last year that was yeah. the original Slashback video. Yeah. yeah. And it was it was just like smaller because in that size yeah. only. Mm -hmm. And then they did like Revenge of Slashback, which is this one, and they have like way art and like way more donations. So this is like the sequel to it. Yeah, yeah exactly. the sequel, yeah. And it's, I, think, I, think, I think it's gonna be over at the end of the year or something. Check out some of the cool stuff that they have here, uh, you know, magazine-wise, uh, when it comes to Slashback Video. Really cool, old school, you know, magazines and things. And of course, the, when, it comes, when it comes to the VHSs, it's pretty dope too. But I like this little setup they have back here where you can like play old school Nintendo and everything, just like sit on these old hands. And like play these old like school old school video games, just chilling back here where Freddy and the creep keeper look on and there's the creepy, creepy scarecrow of slashback video. Well, just got my seat over here on the VIP couch as the other crew members are just chilling. Right here, you know you guys can sit on the couch too. I thought you were VIP like that. How do you feel like that, brother? Well, you know how it is when you roll with the crew. I just sort of, I just sort of do and sit where I feel like. I know, you got it like that. Yeah. Yeah, I do got it like that. You gotta get, you gotta get that wet movie hook up. Yeah, yeah. You get that subscriber money right there. Subscribe. That's how subscriber money, my ass. Overtime money. Oh, there you go. Overtime money. <laughs> overtime money. So, Aaron, man, are you taking a part of the complimentary popcorn and candy? Yeah, sour Patch Kids. Yep. Water. But guys, remember to follow the Mystic Museum and Slashback Video on Instagram. Links right here. Make sure you guys follow them, man. They have some really cool events that happen at this place. At the screening, you guys get two Freddies, baby Freddy and adult Freddy. Oh. So the Mystic Museum wants to thank everyone for coming out. We really appreciate it to our screening. Uh, we never really put the name of the movie, but I'm pretty sure you guys guessed it. Um, so I also want to give a very special thanks to Ira, Penelope, and Bradley from the film. The Woo! was Nightmare on Elm Street the thing it is today back then I mean like this was the third entry so Nightmare 1 you know obviously was a big hit Nightmare 2 came along kind of disrupted the mythology a little bit and it was a little wonky but this put it back on track totally totally um, I remember being in high school and watching 
Nightmare One and uh, just shitting my pants. <laughs> <laughs> Pardon me, there's some kids here, sorry. Um, you know, just being a high school student and I never was a huge fan of horror. I mean, it always really scared the crap out of me. Uh, but I went with a bunch of my, bunch of my friends and I, I closed my eyes through most of it. But then when I had the audition, when I had the chance to actually audition for this, I thought, wow, this is going to be cool. And were, was there a little bit of, uh, uh, did you feel relieved a little bit when you first read the script and you were like, oh, good, they're like, they're bringing Nancy back. It feels more nightmarish than No, back, the, back then, no. I was yeah. more stoked to be playing a character that played Dungeons and Dragons. <laughs> <laughs> did you do that's, that? That's what I did, yeah. No, so oh, really? Oh, yeah, I used to play all the time before. And yeah. So I was like, this, this character's me. <laughs> <laughs> um, the the scene, the television scene, can you take us there on the day of like seeing some of the makeup effects? I mean, were, were you astounded by what the, the FX team had created or? So, you know, they took days and days, you know, I mean, I, the, the first thing that happened to me after I got the job was they, they sent me down and I had a, a full plaster cast mm -hmm. made of my entire body from my tip of my head to my toes. Was that your first time doing that kind of thing? Oh, yeah. yeah. All right, everyone, I'm now with one of the Dream Warriors herself. We got Penelope up in the house. How, how, did, how did you get involved in Nightmare on Elm Street? Well, I went for an audition. Yeah? Yeah. But cause you said in the Q&A that you're not a big fan of horror films. Well, or I like a, like a thriller, a good thriller. Mm -hmm. And actually, I haven't seen this for 30 years, and I think... It was amazing, so it was fun to watch it tonight. No, it's actually a really fun franchise to be a part of. I wish I could be part of something like that. But um, when it, everyone that's watching this right now knows you, that you know, it gets pulled into the television by Freddy saying, welcome to prime time and everything. Would you, would you know that you were going to be part of a, the, one of the most iconic scenes in the film? Absolutely not. No. Yeah. No, I had no. And I, I, I actually did not know that I was part of anything important or significant until about 10 years ago. I had no idea that I had actually accomplished yeah, something, something cool, yeah. that status yeah, yeah. of I think being it's, an icon. Yeah, yeah. So it's unfortunate. I wish I had known 30 years ago. But I'm, I'm, I'm honored, I'm flattered, and I'm grateful. That's really, really cool. For, for, for having that. Well, I just want to say thank you so much for taking the time to talk to me. And do you, have, do you have any social media out there that people can follow you on? I have my website, which is my full name, PenelopeGasudro.com. Mm -hmm. And I'm working on the other stuff. I'm a bit of a dinosaur with this technology. That's but, okay. um, PenelopeGasudro.com. Mm -hmm. So go there, buy some pictures, and God bless you all. Yeah, make, sure you guys it, make sure you guys check it out. I have a link down below. But thank you so much for thank taking the time. Too. You're the best. Thank you. Dude, how cool is that thing right there, man? I love, love, love cosplayers, dude. That thing is cool as hell. That thing is sweet. Yeah, do you know what's even more sweet? Getting to talk to Penelope over there, one of the dream warriors. <laughs> what? I don't know, man. It's fun being a nerd out here in LA. Well, this is a great opportunity, and especially with the job coming up from San Diego. Yeah. Did you get the award thing on? Did you film? Well, uh, the award ceremony. I got you guys doing the little like Freddy invitations. Ah, okay. I didn't, I didn't get you guys winning and stuff. You, these guys won the little like you know. Uh, well, we're all trivia. winners here. Yeah. We are all winners tonight. Yeah. I got a chance to see characters from the film, mm -hmm. see the film live. What are you trying to do, feed them? If you guys that are watching this video right now, make sure you guys follow them on YouTube. I have links to their YouTube channels uh, down below. Show them some love, man. The true nerds just like myself over here. Well, everyone, we're leaving the screening right now of Nightmare on Elm Street 3, put on by the Mystic Museum. It was actually a whole lot of fun, dude. Did you have a good time? Oh, yeah. Yeah, you did. All right, guys. So how, how did you guys enjoy it tonight? It was cool. Yeah? yeah I liked it. It was kind of a, fu a, fu a fun little setting to yeah. hang out and watch a movie with actually old Freddy right there. Bye, Freddy. Say, say bye, bye, baby Freddy. But guys, it was fun. Was cool. Bow. Bow. But we have one more thing because you kept saying you have something in the car, huh? Yeah. All right. We're at your car. What's up? Why are we in this dark alley? What are you trying to do? Pull up like a Fre Freddy move on me? What is, what is he doing, dude? I'm excited to see what's going on. I know. He just opened the trunk. Are you guys going like, to throw me in there or something? I need, I need, I need Penelope to back out here so she can help me. She's a dream warrior. Dude, what? Why are you walking up on me like that? What? Did he just bust out a knife on me? Uh-oh. Dude. Oh, man. What's in the box? Oh, no. Have you ever seen the movie Seven? Yes, I have. Oh, no. Wait, does he still have that knife? 
This is this feels really shady, dude. Like we're in this dark alley right now in the middle of the night over here in Burbank. Alright, you open it. I open it. Yeah, I'll hold the camera. Okay. What is this? What the hell is this shit? Dude, holy shit! My face is on a bottle, bro! What does it say on the side? What? My Jones. Dude, it says web movie approved. <laughs> Dude, what? <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? Dude, thank you so This is so cool, man. I was like thinking about. I, I even that went down to that approved. place and was talking to them about it. That's so, so cool, man. Keep wow. it real. Now, that's the homie. That's homie status right there, bro. Yes, sir. That is homie status <laughs> right there. Thank you so much, man. Yeah, of course. Bro. That was actually really super cool of you, man. Because that's something really creative and I. It was like really not, you know, I was just really thinking about something like that too. Right. Shit, this is all red. Whoa, but that's so, dude. Yeah, I can't wait to try your juice, Brendan. <laughs> you wait. said that already, you nasty <laughs> asshole. Jeez. Okay, you know people part of the crew weird. They be weird. Yeah, yeah they be yeah. weird. Post -post -post. Yeah, you, you you're not gonna try my. my hey, <laughs> keeping it weird. That's that's what we do, <laughs> dude. Here, okay. I'm gonna try it right now, actually. Okay, okay. Open it. Or yeah, open yeah, it. Yeah, Go yeah. ahead. Yeah, I'm gonna see what it, see what it tastes like. You wanna see what my juice tastes like? Yeah. All right. Mm, pretty good. Yeah? Was it like blueberry or something? No. Um, <laughs> it almost tastes like cream soda, kind of. Oh, yeah? That's so cool, man. I could autograph it for you now after. <laughs> no, but dude, I really do appreciate it, man. I think that's super, super cool. Now, I have to get him something. God damn it. I don't know if I can we'll get him something as cool as that. I don't think so. I don't know how to. Yeah, I, I, I don't know how to top that. I don't know how to top that shit. Well, guys, we're now at Bob's Big Boy right now, and uh, we did, our food just arrived. I ended up getting the chicken uh, Caesar salad right over here. I don't think Aaron's really gonna get anything. I, think well, I, I ate earlier, remember? Yeah, you did just a burrito. Yeah. What did you get up, Jay? I got a club sandwich, and fries, and it's awesome. What did you get, man? Uh, cheeseburger, fries. Chris. Okay. And, okay. I, and I gotta make a statement. Oh yeah. These new straws are paper. Oh. And I mean, look, look at this thing. It's it no, rips. No. Yeah, you just. It's they, all soggy up here. Yeah, since they don't make plastic straws anymore, I'm I guess. Happy. In California, we have paper straws now. Yeah. But since I'm eating this chicken Caesar salad, what am I gonna drink? What am I gonna? Oh. Yeah, buddy. Thanks, bro. So I had I had a dream the other day, Brendan. Of uh, your face being <laughs> on a bottle? No. Okay. That we were that we were all serial killers, like like the movie monsters, you know, maniacs. You were Freddy. Okay. Because you're you're more vocal and you know more loose. I am. Yeah. <laughs> oh. I was Leatherface. Okay. Because I'm kind of a big guy and you okay. know, sloppy. Jacob was um, Michael Myers because he's kind of quiet, you know. Okay. And then, uh, quick. <laughs> well, Gabe, I guess Gabe would be Leprechaun, maybe, or Chucky. Okay, Leprechaun. <laughs> Chucky. <laughs> and then, uh, who'd be Pinhead? <laughs> I think I know. <laughs> well, guys, we've just got out of Bob's Big Boy. Uh, you got anybody have any last words today? Drink up. Awesome. Drink up, everyone. Yeah, man. Awesome it, party at two, straight to the back. See hey, man, we're done, Bob. We're yeah. done. But I really do appreciate you guys watching and you guys hanging out, just messing around town today. Make sure you guys hit that like button, leave a comment down below letting us know what your favorite Nightmare on Elm Street movie is. And uh, check out Aaron's movie, yeah. now on Amazon Prime. An Hour to Kill. An Hour to Kill, link in the description if you guys want to check it out, show us some love, give us some reviews uh, on there. And uh, you have any last words, homeboy? Peace no? Peace out, man. But th thank you so much for the, for the cola, man. It's fucking sick. Yeah, yeah, of course. But guys, thank you all for watching, and we'll see you all next time.